Hey guys, I thought I'd do another lesson today. So I'm going to do with me at London and doing a match at Prem's by my band, obviously, David's ice cream. So, this is my, I'm trying to make it into a good lesson, so it'll be quite good for you guys to kind of, they're going to use a lot of power chords in it though. Like strumming down these in it. If you want to learn this, you don't have to, but you it might helpful for your. Right, let's just get into the video. All right. So fifth fret. So the fifth fret. That string here. That one there. Just place it on that. And that finger. On there. You can probably see my fingers are so like that. And I'm just gonna pluck these strings. One to there. I'm not gonna hit that bottom one, because just gonna hit that one. You can probably see it. Alright, so that's the first part. So we're still like, we're still doing the exact same. And we're going to teach you a whole song. Just say, I'm probably going to do the doors, the end. So we're just going to go. Right. We'll pluck the same strings. move it up a fret so we were there starting and move it up but we keep the exact same right let's move on to the next part we're gonna keep going at this because it's no, the strap is slipping on me see I'm gonna show you the picks that I'm doing This shape was this, but remember that you've got your fingers like that, just like that. And then for the last part, for the next part, I just leave this finger on. And we pluck the same strings. Just remember that finger just there, and that's it. Just that string, no other fingers on. So those are those two parts. So I've learnt all of these. That was all. Sorry, not all, but we're gonna... That's all we learnt. Next part that goes... Ding, 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 ding. Next part. So how people would, I do it like this, which is quite, which is probably an easier way for you guys, but other people do it like that, but bowls are harder to do, because you've got to do bar chords, we bar across the strings, I don't know if you know, but, okay, so we're going to pluck put our finger on that string I think you'd want to do it more my way that finger on that string then we'll pluck that string it's a little different we'll pluck that string you can hear that sound and then we'll move down from that to there and then we'll pluck that string and then we'll do bowls across those these and then we'll go pluck these two. And then we'll pluck these two. Let's do that again. I'll do it slow for you guys this time. Oh, my finger's always so That finger there. I'm plucking that string. Then we'll move down. 
So just to warn you guys, that's the thing, that's the third fret. So count up your strings down because that's going down. Then we'll just go to there, fifth fret, and pluck that string. And then we'll do some bowls across those three. You don't touch that top one. And then we'll go up to just press that. Alright, next part. So the next part we're going to have to use some bar chords. So only barling across five strings. So those five. I need it to sound like this. My fingers always funny shape at this part. It may sound a little bad, my playing, but I've only just started guitar. And this is the, one of the first songs I learned. So barling across those five, as you can see. If you don't find it helpful, just push it down. And my finger's in the way, so that's the problem. St oh, it's stupid fingers, stop getting in the way. <laughs> stop it! That's third fret, remember guys. Third fret. Next part. Then we're going to put that finger there. On the second, on the second string there. And I'm wobbling, just like that. This is going to be difficult for you guys. But build up your strength in your fingers. Keep practicing that. Every day. This is not a song you should start off with, though, guys. So. It took me quite a long time to learn this song, so. Okay, just remember it's those. So we're gonna. So that we're gonna pluck that string. Not a song. So we're just gonna pluck that one at the start. And then we're gonna put this finger to there. And that finger underneath on that string. And then we're gonna pluck these. sound great sorry guys i've moved my camera again but just remember it's that bowl that will really hurt your fingers that just keep practicing like other stuff if you have a good tar teacher or something so just remember it's those if you can see where my fingers are but i told you anyway where they go so it's that string you can see me pulling up that first string it just vibrated i'm so terrible at that Right, the next part is a G, so it's called a G. Just keep practicing that last part because the bowl is very hard, the bar chords. So the G will go like that. The middle finger will go at that top string there. Can you see? And then this finger will go there. And then the last few, we're going to put these last two on those two strings down there. Can you see? And then we'll just pluck these strings. I'll show you the plucking next part. Alright, we're just going to do all of this over again after, after what I've taught you. chords are really hard to do. It looks like I'm not even doing them. So we're just going to do all of those again, but then it's going to change, so then it's going to go like this. Which is, I'll teach what to do. And then we're going to, we're going to have that G shape. You can see that finger is going on there. That finger's going down. That finger's going there. That finger's going underneath it. 
and we're just going to pluck these strings. Then up stroke. You need to do it again. But to end it off this time, we're going to just click it there. So, yeah. Anyway, next part. So then we're going to go like this. We're going to play the G shape again. But then we're just going to put that finger up on that one. And take that one off. And then we're going to just pluck these. All those. Wait, not that one. We don't touch that one. It's wiggling up and down. And it ended off there. But, and we have our finger shape like that. Anyway, next part. Next finger shape. So now we're gonna just gonna go like this. I'm gonna put that finger there. And that finger, I don't know if you can see. They both. They're both going on the same spot. They're just going on that. Finger's going on that string, second fret. As you can see, the string. And that one goes underneath it on that string. And then we're just going to pluck these strings. Just these ones. Just those. Right, one again. I'm going to do it slower this time. Next part. Right, now we're just going to go like this. We're going to do a bar chord again, and it's going to sound like this. It doesn't sound great for me, but I mean, it's all right. My band is called David's Ice Cream, it's my... So, my fingers, so we're just going to bar across these. don't know if you can see those strings. It's going to be like that. Right? Second fret, so it's not on the third fret, it's on this one now. Then we're going to put that finger on this string here. The one that's wiggling. There. That middle finger there. But I've already taught you the bow. It's just that. that, that. Next finger. Right, the next finger is going to go just there. You can probably see that quite easily. And it's just going to go on the string below that one. God, this is difficult, but I'm just going to pluck these strings. Wait. Let's get it closer up. I'm just going to shake my fingers again. Do the same plucking as I taught you. It's all the exact same plucking, this bit really. Next part. And the shape is going to sound like this. It's going to sound like that next. It's that finger, third fret, there. Can you see? And the middle finger is going to go to there. And this finger go there so it's gonna but you can see we'll just put those three on and we'll do the same plucking as we did same plucking just practice that for like five minutes like more minutes i think you should practice that for quite a few hours you don't have to but just we're gonna go to a g next Alright, so the G is going to sound like this for the next part. So we're going to do the same G again. Going to do a G again. Alright, let's see if we can get this. So that middle finger there. And then finger there. 
and these last fingers are going to go there and down there. It's going to go like that. We'll pluck the exact same strings. Right, so we're going to go to the, the part that I just taught you, where we're going to change our fingers to that again. Now this isn't, e this isn't too bad, because then it's going to be the exact same. We're just going to move one finger up and take that one off. But we're going to pl pluck the exact same. We didn't, no, we're not actually. We're going to pluck it from this top string. Pluck that string, and it's just gonna just those. Let me do it closer for you. Just those, alright? Let's do it again. Just those, alright? And remember, it's that finger shape we're all after. So the next bit, we're just going to repeat that whole section. You can have it like that from that part, but I do it like that. So it's not the G shape again, it's that string and that string. I'm going to do the same plucking. Dang it. Just those. Remember, it's that shape there, that string, that finger, and then that middle finger. So we're going to put them both like that. And just remember the plucking I was doing. Do it one more time for you. Same plucking as we did at that start bit. Right, so we're going to do this again. <laughs> so remember, it's the bar chords we're looking for for this part again. Where we're going to go. Oh, God, I can't even see my. So remember it's that, all barreling across and we're going to put it on there, and these two just there, that, and then we're just going to pluck it like this. So the next part we're going to do the exact same again, so then we're going to go yeah. It's brilliant, it's brilliant isn't it? So bad. So we're going to do this one again. We put our finger there, that finger there, and that finger there. And we're just going to pluck these strings. Just those. Show it again. A bit closer up this time. These two. You probably know them anyway. Next part. Alright, so we're just going to. After that, it's just going to be like that, and then we're just going to be repeating this again. I'm just going to repeat all of that again. It'll just get stuck on this. And it goes to the drum board up. Boom, 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 boom. That bit. Alright. Next part. So we're just going to keep it like this. Let me do it. Let me do it for you. I'm just to go boom, 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 boom. Change your finger shape again. And then the 
rocky part goes sounds like this. That rocky part. All right, so we're gonna go to the rocky part now, where we're gonna just bow our fingers across that third fret there, that that first finger like that. And we're gonna just bow that one across, just just like that, right? So like that, it's gonna look like that, the shape. But I have my fingers like that for it. Well, probably all people do. And then we're just gonna strum the strings. Just gonna strum the strings. It's kind of, you can just do that, but I strum it from there. There, I strum it from. Right, next part. The next part is just very similar to what we've already done at the, split, at the intro. But it's going to bow across these. So it's going to sound like this. And it'll go to the G. It's all working on that. That's bow chords. That's, this is painful doing that. You may not like doing these. But you've probably heard, so it's bowling across these. And that middle finger would just go there. So like that. And these three will go there. And then we're just going to do the same strumming pattern. So like... It won't sound brilliant, but it will sound like this. So we're just going to make that funny noise so again. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Right, the next part is the G again, so we've probably already done that. So where we're gonna go like this, that finger there. I'm gonna put that finger there. Then the fingers like that. Alright. And that finger there, that finger just underneath it. So I'm gonna do the same strumming pattern again. From these, all right, and we're definitely going to pick that last one there. It's going to sound like that. All right, next part. All right. So then we're going to. It's hard to really see in the screen, but we're going to put our finger there. There, and then we're going to put that on just there, there actually, as you can see. Alright, and then we're just going to pick these. Wait, wrong one. Just going to pluck those, alright? Next part. And then we're just going to move, we're going to do that exact same finger thing, but we're just going to move that one up. One, same finger there, and but on the same finger there, same on the same string but upper fret for the ring finger. I'm just gonna pluck the exact same. Well, that sounds wrong. Sorry, third string like that. So it'll go like that. So you can see. Part. Sorry, we got that bit a tiny bit wrong. Can that thing just get out the way? It's annoying me. It's still in the way, but it's not as in. So that's a finger there. And that finger just there, as you can see. And then we're just going to pluck the exact same strings again. this song for quite a while now. I'm just going to take, I'll just teach you two bits. Just take that finger off and it's going to be like that. And the third, the fourth. It's on the fourth fret. I'm just going to put the exact same strings. Wait, no, third fret. I meant third fret, that string. Same strings. Just those. 
It's gonna go to the strumming again, but it's gonna change. So we're gonna, you probably know, we're gonna bar chord across those. And then that thing is just blowing across those, and we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go like that again. And with all these strings flopping down. And that finger balling across, and then that finger there balling across like that. It's just gonna look like that. Next part, so we're gonna do the bar again. We're going to do it exact same place as we were. I'm just going to put bar chord and put that finger there. So just there. Barling. And we're going to put these fingers here. I like doing it this way anyway. So. And then we're going to do the same strumming. <laughs> So then we're gonna do the G again, which you probably know about. Oh, get out of the way. Not string that's coming down like that. But we're gonna go up to the sec third fret. You can see like that. Then these two, just that the one there, the one underneath it. And just strum the same. Just like that. But and then we're going to do it up stroke. Just like that, I guess. Just like that. You ready? Next part. Right. Then it's going to go like this. Where we're going to have that finger there finger underneath and one string down finger there like that and we're gonna go just back as they were doing the real channel just go like but it's easier just to start off like that and you can build your white up to do it and it's gonna, and then it's gonna do a bar chord where we're gonna bar across those. Then we're gonna go to that. And if you can see, and then we're gonna go those few there. And we're gonna strum. And the second fret, as you can see. All right, next part. If you didn't get that last part, you can just rewind it. But I don't know, fast forward it or rewind it, I keep, I keep getting them muddled up. So, and then we're going to put that finger there. And try and make it easier for you guys for this part. There, like that. And that finger there. You see? Then we're just going to pluck the exact same. Next part I'm going to teach you. Alright, so then we're going to do the G where we're going to put our middle finger up there, at the very top string. And that finger just on that string there. Then these two there. And we're going to strum. And then we're just going to go up and then put that, let that finger just be on that. So it's like that. And now we're going to let it go up to like that. And we're going to strum all the strings from the top. So it sounds like boom. Next part. So then we're going to do the exact same thing again. Where we're going like that. That string there and that string there. And we're going to strum again. Next part we're going to do that bar chord again. That is like that again. The solo is going to be easy to play. I'll teach you that. And then we're going to put that finger there, just there, and we'll put these fingers, you probably know this note, 
So barring across all these, and that thing is going, that middle thing is going to go there. So like that, and these last are going to go there. And we're going to still strum like that. Next bit I'm going to teach you. This may be like 10 minutes long this video, probably longer to be fair. Then we're going to do that shape again, the new one. I don't know if you can see that. And then that thing is going to go there. And that thing is going to go there. Just on that second string. There. And we're going to strum like this. Next part. Then we're going to do that G shape again. And we're going to put that that finger there and that finger there and these two here you probably know again probably remember it if you don't it's still the like that and then we're just going to go back to the um the um whole of this again Strumming again. I've already taught you. Right now we're going to the solo, which is gonna probably be easier than all the other parts. 12th fret, that's really low down. So just there. The solo is pretty easy to play. I'm just gonna teach you that. It's gonna sound like this. Just like that. So just barling across these three there, and we're going to pluck these. Do it again. We're just going to do one, two, like that, next part. We're going to bow again, but up to this fret here, like that, and put that finger there same string next part we're going to have the same shape but move it down and go next part all right now we're just gonna let this finger be on its own and look that for it. And then we're going to just pluck that one. I'm just going to pluck that third one. And then we're going to move it up. It goes to the whole bit again. Repeat that whole bit again, but I'll, I'll teach you next. If you didn't get this right, then you can watch more of the solo again. And I'll just do it a bit slower this time. So like that. So f finger balling across these, and then that thing goes there, and that second one bouncing up and down. Then we're going to pluck the exact same strings. And we're going to move down a fret again. Then we're going to go here. Just move down to the looks like the exact same. Just those again. Dang it, I didn't quite teach you because I said we we're gonna move down the fret, so it's that one. Sorry guys. I'm going Same finger shape though. Just move down one fret. 
like move up one fret. Don't go up. When it says up, you go up. And then we're just gonna just have that finger just on its own again. We're gonna pluck this, that string. And move it up. And move it down again. And then just to end the solo off, we're just gonna do that. Just one of that. We'll go back to this again. So now we've learnt the whole solo, so now we're just going to go, it's just going through all of this again. I taught you all of that at the start. Next part. So then we're going to do this again. So if you didn't quite get it right, we're going to bowl across those and then those are going to go across those so it's going to look like that but I hold it like that and probably most people do but I'm going to hold it like that at the moment so it'll sound like that and it's just going to be those strings of like as I showed you and you're going to do it upstroked anyway next part and then we're going to go up there, and we're going to put that finger there, those there, can't you see? Alright, and then we're going to go to here, where it's strumming. Still want to do the same strumming, next part. Right, then we're going to do the um, G again. Put that finger there. Then put these two there. Like that. And we're just going to do the same strumming. Next part. Right, we're just going to do the whole of this again teach you this once again so that finger there and there but we're not gonna just gonna leave those two on then we're gonna pluck these next part and then we're gonna just move it up still gonna stay on the same string and that is to that finger we just moved it up like that and then we're going to put the exact same strings. Just those strings again. Next part. Is we're going to go to there. That finger's going to go there. Then that finger's... Going to go there. And then we're going to pluck the exact same strings. Put that again. Next part. And then we're just going to leave that finger on that string there. And we're just going to do the exact same thing again. Exact same picking. Just that. And we're going to go into the, um, that again. So the next part is we're just going to do this again. <laughs> it's me again. <laughs> Ooh. Probably, um, so we're just going to go back to that. Can you see where my fingers are? So that's barling cross those and that's barling cross those. I'm just going to strum. Motion. 
next part. I'm right handed anyway. Then we're gonna go back to this one where we're gonna bowl. Then we're gonna put that on there. I'm gonna put these two there. Then we're gonna do the exact same again. So the G. Again, where I put our finger there, that finger there, those two there. And then it's going to do it again, and then it's going to do it over again. the fade and then we've done our lesson so the fade is just these chords again well, if you have electric guitar you just turn down your volume like that and you're just going to do this on the fade just going to do that chord again strum it again and then just strum it quickly and go like that stop it Right, so the next part, we're going to do some bowls again. And then that string is going to go there. It's going to go like that. And then we're going to move it up. The exact same of one of these again. Just gonna stop it. Next part. And we're gonna do this G again. Put these two hair there like that. Didn't say hair, I said there. Unless the subtitles get it wrong again. And we're gonna stop it again. Then we're gonna go really far down. Next part's gonna be a really hard stretch. It's the hardest part. Next part. So then we're gonna do that stretch that I just told you. That's we're definitely going past that string that we did the solo on. It's so going down three more frets. So we're gonna do it on this one. And we're gonna do this G shape. This is gonna be hard for me to get it into the camera. I've done a lot of effort today. So then we're going to put that finger there and that finger there and these two like that again. But it will just be on that string like that. Can you see? And that's where my fingers are. They should be there really. No, but I think they're fine now. No, we'll do it there then. Just strum like that. Then we're just going to go like this, so we're going to put our, this is the hardest part, I tend to just go like this, but it's really hard to do it that way. We're going to put our finger there, and that finger just there, then that finger will just go there, so it will make that sound the shape. But we're just going to move down one to there. Right, anyway. Next part. I'm not going to the next part just yet because we need to figure out. This is one of the hardest parts I find really hard in the guitar. It's going to sound like that. It's the right shape too. Right, next part. I'm just going to do that G again because I taught you. I'm just going to strum these. Mm. 
room just to make that one more sound. That. And then you've learnt the whole song. Use the electric guitar.
solo time.
version one more time. That's just the fade bit to do left. Just a bit. Four, three, two, one. Zero. Go. Go guys.